<laughs> I love, yeah. K9, yeah. Uh. No dummy, yeah. 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 Shorty high, shorty high. I'm on no dummy. Ralph Chris, why I say, if I. All the boys say they like my waistline And they like the way I smile cause my face fine Shorty hot and I'm something like a hurricane When I hit the club see the boys go insane Hey friends So I get a lot of questions about my detangling, conditioning, and moisturizing And what's my regimen, what's my routine So I've said this so many times before But really my routine is that I do everything as far as co-washing, conditioning, well maybe not co-washing, but conditioning, detangling, shampooing, I do them all once a month because the length of my hair is long, my hair is very, very dim, so I just feel that it's easier for me to control that routine and keep it set at once a month for me, that's what I can handle um, in my lifestyle. So anyways guys, I filmed a tutorial for y'all. Just breaking it down and showing you how I do my routine, like how do I maintain my hair. Once a month, I will detangle my hair. I use Giovanni leave-in. It's a tip, the triple treat leave-in conditioner. Love it. Love, I've been using that ever since I went natural. It's the only conditioner I know that allows my hair to become very soft. Like it'll be very moisturized, very soft. Like just immediately so I always use it if I have it another good conditioner though if you're not able to access that is um, Aussie Moist yeah so Aussie Moist is for you like if you're you know if you don't really care too much about silicones and all that because it has silicones in it and silicones is what allows your hair to slide you know slide right past each other so you can use Aussie Moist but Giovanni is just as good without silicones and you know it's all natural so I use both but for this um, session I did use Giovanni. I start on hair that hasn't been detangled in a while. <laughs> um, like I said, I don't introduce a comb into my hair until the next time I have to do my hair. Then I will start by separating my hair, you know, just loosening it from whatever style it's been in. Um, and just kind of like working through removing the shed hair that comes out. I also use an oil, so with an oil and a conditioner, I'll mix it and then just apply it to my hair. The oil helps to slick everything down, it, it, it uh, increases the lubrication in my hair, so it allows the shed hair to glide out. Um, and then I break apart the whatever shed hair, whatever tangles or knots are in my hair, I'll break it apart, not fit, like literally break it apart, but just separate the strands and then I'll just work the shed hair down my hair and you know out so i will continually do that section by section remove what i can um i still don't ever use a brush sometimes like if i do the finger detangling let's say every once a month and i've done it up to three months then maybe the third month i'll use a brush like tangle teaser I will use that and then I will kind of go in and just give myself a thorough detangling. So for me, it can take literally all day. It takes all day. So <laughs> if you're doing your hair, I don't know, for me, this is another reason why I don't I do not do my hair every the other day because it's, just, it's so time consuming. I don't have the time these days. So, you know, I just do what I can. So let's pause and talk about how seemingly unavoidable knots and curly hair are. For the most part, I'm able to work through them by sliding the strands singularly through until I'm left with the two or three culprit strands at the core of the knot. But for the more stubborn knots, I do cut with a sharp pair of scissors. That technique is very very important when you're doing your hair so I feel like a lot of times people will ask what type of products do you use and for me it's mostly about the technique like the way that you handle your hair is the most important because that's really what keeps the hair that's already you know come through your scalp how are you maintaining that so I always feel like finger detangling number one finger detangled ever since I went natural 
let's just up until now that I've even started to incorporate brushes into my regimen. But before, I never ever finger detangled. I always use a brush. Ugh. I always finger detangled. I never use a brush. Like I couldn't do it because I was just like the bristles are too hard. My hair is too fragile. My hair splits a lot, especially in the back where I have the like my row four C area that's just very you know you just have to nurture it a lot. So like those areas, yeah, I would not ever use a brush there. But these days I kind of do, just because I have so much hair and I'm just and I don't have time to finger detangle. Yeah, I just always feel like the techniques that you use is more important than the product. If you have to rank them, I'm ranking technique higher than the products that you use. Products are up there, but technique to me is the most important. I will also go in and I'll use the olive oil cholesterol and I'll really use that to <laughs> condition my hair. And I know some people don't like it. Like I was talking to my friend and she was like, this stuff clogs up my bathroom. It works for me. So. If your hair is this texture, I would I would seriously recommend it because it allows my curls to clump together. Clump coils are important when you are using your finger and you're detangling your hair. Your finger is encouraging your hair to clump together and when most of your hair strands are all doing the same thing, it cuts down on the possibilities for your hair to not, for the strands to get tangled when they're all like, you know, doing that big curl or tiny curl or whatever, but they're all doing it in a section like this. When you have all of your hair doing this, but you know, different strands are doing this, your hair is easier to control when they're all doing the same thing. So I'm always looking for products that encourage that kind of clumping. What encourages it for me is thicker, heavier conditioners or Aussie Moist. Aussie Moist is very good for that. That's just a tip for you guys. Like that's that's what I, stuff that I like to use in my hair. Just heavy conditioners, heavy creams, because they encourage that. I will go through my hair and I'll use the Giovanni to detangle, figure detangle. Then I'll use the cholesterol. I'll do a twist and I'll put it aside. And that is it. I'll just kind of do that for the entire length of my hair. And I will move into the shower to shampoo. So when I'm shampooing, um, what I like to use, I've started to use this um, moisturizing shampoo, which is the Shea Moisture. Good stuff. I like it because it's not too sudsy. So for, it's not stripping everything away from my hair. It's not stripping out all the oils. It's not stripping out, I'm just leaving my hair just bare, you know. So I'll use that shampoo and I'll go through my hair. So I'll shampoo all the conditioner out. I think I do like one or two shampoos. I will also do an ACV rinse at the end of the shampoo and I'll do that directly on my scalp. So I will spritz the apple cider vinegar on my scalp and then kind of let it sit for a little bit and then I'll massage it through. I'll rinse it out. After everything's all said and done, I do reintroduce a conditioner just to close those cuticles back up. So I will use just whatever light conditioner that I have around, if it's like VO5 or, or Giovanni again, I'll just kind of like use it and just, you know, like a few pumps into my hand and I'll just reintroduce it into my hair and then I'll twist it or braid it and I'm done. That is my monthly routine. After that, I'll go in and I'll moisturize, um, you know, style, whatever I'm doing. But this is the main routine that gets me through each month to clean my hair, to clean it and to condition it. Ideally, I would love to do this every two weeks. I would love to do this every week if I could because then I feel like your hair is really well maintained if you're able to condition your hair that often. But in my lifestyle and the way I like to wear my hair, you know, I'm wearing it out today. I don't have the time. I just don't have the time to finger detangle. And, and the way I try, I, I choose to do my hair which is finger detangling. Maybe if I was using a brush. I wouldn't have to spend hours doing this. But guys, this is what I do. I've been looking for like other ways to cut down this, but I, I know it's because my hair is this long and it's this dense and it's this texture that I just can't, I don't know any other way to get around it taking this long. And being that I don't do this every month, I feel like one day in 30 days that, that you're treating your hair and maintaining it, I can live with that. So um, that is my routine. If you all have any questions or suggestions or whatever, you know where to find me. So that'll be on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, email, I don't know. All right guys, so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.